Hey, it's me. Today, I'm going to be doing a squishy makeover. We're going to do another one. I have handed back the responsibility to you guys to pick out the squishies that I paint in this series for this episode because I did an unboxing video, opened a bunch of fresh used squishies. That's a contradiction. That doesn't make any sense. There was a small problem with the last unboxing video. I made a mistake. I called this squishy lettuce. Lettuce? when it is in fact star fruit. Because of that, I didn't get as much feedback on which squishies you guys wanted me to paint because there was so much attention on that little insignificant detail. 75% of the comments were correcting me that it's star fruit, not lettuce. It's the only thing worth commenting about was that one second that I was wrong. It was a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, very, 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 very sorry about that. A anyway, I I think the most popular request that I could see was this bear squishy. I didn't open this until way at the end of the video and usually the squishies that end up being requested a lot are the ones that are like in the beginning of the video. I don't know. It's sad. It deserves to be here. The other really popular request was this one. This is my fault. This is another instance of me opening my big fat mouth <laughs> with a random idea that probably won't work, but I just had to say it. I was severely creeped out by this squishy, but I thought it kind of looked like it had a baby body, and I thought, what if I turn it into a baby? What if I turned it into... <laughs> An actual baby. Pretty sure this is gonna be really, really creepy and weird. <laughs> I think you're all secretly hoping that I fail so that you can be entertained by my failure. Now, for the third one, I'm going to leave it a surprise. It could be anything. It's not gonna be the star fruit. I'm burning that one now. So let's get into squishy roasting. I'm gonna start with this one just to kind of get it out of the way. Maybe it's just me, but I find this squishy to be incredibly creepy. <laughs> It's clearly a dog in an inner tube, but the gray makes it look like an old man, and then its body resembles a human baby. Are you a baby or are you 83? His neck is a little, uh, whoa. It's got a big rip through it. We have a random hole here, which, oh opens up to another massive tear. The squishiness of this kind of sucks. It's verging on stress ball material. <gasps> That's one of the biggest insults you can give to a squishy. Everyone knows stress balls are the scum of the earth. Let's get started on this. First, I need to sand down the foam to make sure that the paint will stick properly. And once we see nice little rips over the entire surface, it's good to go. I'm changing this dog into a human baby. And typically the surgery to do a species change is very complicated. First, removing the tail because most people don't have tails. I don't think. And then I need to just smooth out that area the best I can so that it doesn't look like a complete chopped up mess. I'm ripping this pin out of his side. I can tell that one hurt. And of course, I need to get rid of that little dog nose and I'm actually gonna completely smooth out the entire face. Ow hand cramp. And now I could have just left the sunglasses on there and just made the baby wearing sunglasses, but I feel like those glasses may carry leftover creepy vibes just because they've been on that dog's face. I also have to smooth out the fur texture on this back. No one likes the baby with the hairy back. Finally, I need to cut off his ears. I thought about trying to work with them, maybe like turning them into big headphones, like the baby is just listening to music. Then I realized that's dumb. Quit being lazy and do it right. If you thought this was creepy before, holy crap, it's so hideous. To patch up this hole, I'm gonna grab some spare foam, shove it in there, and just trim away the excess. Okay, good. Oh, hi, you. I dug this squishy out. I believe this is a plum-themed bear. I don't know. I'm wrong about a lot of things. And it's kind of cute. I like the hand that's waving, but without a doubt, I'm most interested in those ears. Mm, yeah, I'm looking at those. So yes, you have been selected to be our involuntary ear donor. Congratulations. So let's make that cut. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't worry. This is a good thing. Here they are. I'm gonna hot glue those on since fabric glue doesn't work very well for tiny pieces like this. Of course, I do realize these aren't human ears. I'm replacing dog ears with bear ears, but we can make this work. I'm gonna go in 
with my puffy paint because it's finally the time to start trying to smooth out all the chaos that I've created with cutting away parts and adding new parts. Doing some nice finger painting in there. And this is just kind of a general, you know, covering any lumpy textures, closing up all the rips and gaps. After several thick coats of paint like that, I'm going to start applying some thinner coats with a paintbrush to really start refining the smoothness of the surface. And you can see after a few layers, it does start looking pretty good. We're getting there, but just for good measure, I'll add one more in this mustard yellow color for some reason. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what color I use for this step. I'm just going to go over all of it anyway. So I usually go with just whatever colors I have in excess at the time. And this is what I've done. It's ugly. Hopefully once I get it all one color, it'll start to look a little bit better. So I'm going to go over the whole thing with a white base coat. And at this point, it doesn't look like a dog anymore, but it also doesn't look quite human either. It's still got paws. So that's not good. I'm thinking this is going to be a complete fail, but I'm going to keep going. Miracles do happen sometimes. So let's start working on the skin. That's S for skin. No, it's not. I added that label like two years ago and honestly can't remember why. Like, I'm just so interesting. What do we think of this color? Oh, he's eating it. So this is the point where we're going to really start to reveal whether my evil plan has worked or not. Will it look like a baby? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm having thoughts and feelings about this. It is looking more like a baby, but now I'm having some very unpleasant flashbacks to my last experience trying to paint human squishies, which did not go very well. And I'm getting very concerned. It's too early to create a new face of failure for 2021. After a few layers of skin painting, here we have it, a very, very naked baby. I wanna add a nice bright flush to the face. So I'm adding quite a lot of pink to the cheeks. I want baby to be full of life and vibrancy. Normally I wait until the very end to tackle the face, but I was so convinced that I was going to fail at this. I just kind of wanted to get it over with already. So I'm sketching out the face now and then very carefully and slowly, don't make a mistake, going over it with paint. I wanted to do something very bold and animated, like a cartoon. It's a baby. He's in the pool and he's having a great time. So I wanted to make him you know, laughing. Well, big baby belly laugh. And I gave him a single tooth. Shockingly, I think it's kind of cute. But at the same time, he kind of looks like a chipmunk or something. Maybe it's just because he's so bald. So let's give him some hair. I decided to paint him some nice light brown hair and add some outlining around that just to give some detail to the hair and make it look a little bit more complete. And here he is. Uh, yeah, I think he might be cute. I'm gonna call him Chip because he still kind of looks like a chipmunk. So let's start addressing his little inner tube here. I could so easily paint this rainbow. Oh, the temptation is strong. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with purple, orange, and yellow. Why am I making him look at the paint? I thought that these would work for some... Oh, a bubble popped. The yellow paint. Watch it. I don't know why I'm acting like this is a noteworthy event. But yeah, I thought that these were some nice, bright, fun, summery colors, and they would look cute on the little pool float. Okay, finished up with the first layer on that. Now with the second layer, I'm going to really get in there, make sure all the lines and seams are crisp and the colors are looking bright. There, inner tube done. This poor baby has been so naked this whole time. Not that he looks particularly bothered, but still. Let's put a diaper on him, please. Now obviously they do have baby swimsuits, so I realize I could have painted him in a swimsuit, but the way his legs are curled up like that, it might have made it look weird to try to paint little shorts on him or something. So I thought that a white diaper would just look better and cuter. Clearly there are lots of little messy areas left over. So it's time for me to go back and fix all the little mistakes to make sure that everything is looking neat and clean. Finally, I'm going to add some little details to the diaper and my signature on his little butt before we had a creepy ripped up old baby dog. And now we have Chip, the very happy baby. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a big improvement. Maybe it's just because I hated the original Squishy so much and I had such low expectations for this makeover, but I actually like it. He's cute. You can just hear that laugh. I'm not going to be surprised if some people still find this creepy. People are creeped out by little baby doll faces in general. I actually don't find him too creepy. And I did think about trying to do something about the paw situation, but I think trying to define those as fingers in any 
way would have just probably made it worse. But anyway, he's cute. Okay, bye Chip. So next we have the sweet little bear with a cake. I love this one. I got really excited about it. Ooh, I like you. But in reality, the personality and detail on this is non-existent. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home in there? Nope. Not to mention the ripping and chipping that's going on all over the place. The actual shape of the bear is very rounded. It looks like her limbs are like made out of marshmallows. Hey, I know someone like that. So I think I'm gonna have to add a lot to this one to make something more interesting. And that's where they come in. These three squishies may not look like they have anything in common, but they do. They're all going to die for her. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> Hold on, okay. <laughs> Let's focus on one at a time. This dolphin squishy. I'm actually kind of sad to see this one die. I really like its little face. Look at that, we're bonding. But don't get too attached. Next, we have this very awkward looking cat mermaid. And I'm fine with killing this one. Why is a cat wearing a shell bra? I mean, I get it's because it's a mermaid, but a shell bra on a cat? No, no, no. And finally, the most awkward of them all, that face. I'm also not a super fan of the body positioning of this, how it's like in mid action. Something about it is frustrating. Why are you stuck in mid jump forever? But anyway, this is about the bear, remember. I'll give her a quick sanding to prepare for paint. And oh, hi everyone, back so soon. It's time for some blood to be shed. First, I'm gonna cut off these shells. You didn't even need them in the first place. And now these belong to you. From the alicorn, I'm gonna be taking that wing. I guess I'll hang on to the rest of it still. I don't know. And from the dolphin, I'm taking the tail and the bill. Okay, now assembly time. And many annoying little pieces means hot glue is the way to go. I'm gonna glue the wing onto the top of the head, kind of like a mohawk, and the tail onto the back, like a, like a tail, and the bill onto the forehead. Okay, this is just getting weird. And one seashell here and one over there. Perfect. All all my pieces are in place, not too much fuss, and now I just need to seal them all together to make this permanent and fill all those unsightly gaps. At the same time, I'm also fixing up the rips that were in the squishy to begin with. Looks great. Time for the base coat. So you must be wondering what it is that I've created here. I could see how this might be a little confusing. Oh, well, it's time for color already. That was quick. I'm painting this orange. Does that explain things? Um, no. Well, <clears throat> Since this bear was so plain and bland, I wanted to do something that gave us a little bit more interest and in detail. This is going to be a bear in a fish costume. So yes, that's right. I sacrificed three innocent lives so that you could wear a costume. You better be grateful. Okay, got the whole thing painted orange. And whoa, it's got a face already. Oh my gosh, how did that happen? So I'm painting the bear color just on the face. My thought was, this is a bear that loves under the sea so much that she dressed like a fish and she eats under the sea themed cakes. <laughs> What? I don't know. It's kind of like Ariel from The Little Mermaid, but the reverse and a bear version. It's burial. Okay, not a huge fan of this color with that orange. Let's try to adjust that. That should be better. I probably should have just waited to draw on the facial features until I had finished the background color of the face, but I didn't. So I had to just paint around everything. I decided to paint the paws exposed out of the costume to try to give a little more detail to the arms. Once again, I'm going out of my usual order. I just felt like doing all the faces early, so we're just jumping ahead here. I gave her some sweet looking purple teardrop eyes and then went to paint the nose and a little side smile, a couple of eyebrows. I say that as if there's another acceptable number of eyebrows. <laughs> Oh, and then started adding some light, delicate blush on the cheeks, which I was almost done blending out and then I ruined it with a brown streak. <gasps> Where did that come from? It came from my dirty paint paper towel. Well, gotta fix that. And now my paintbrush is falling apart. You're a piece of trash. I don't think that's fair. Back to the eyes. I wanted to add some little shading in there to make them pop a little bit more. And then of course, she'll need some pupils, eyelashes, and little shinies in her eyes. Oh, it's cute, 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 cute. Now I'm going to finally address the rest of the body. I wanna use some dark orange to accent the little fish head piece head head piece thing um oh finn 
fin. And the tail as well. Now, of course, the fin is kind of a different shape than the normal head fin. That's because it's actually a wing, fun fact. I also decided to add an outline around the edge of the costume to just define that border a little bit more, make it look finished. I added some little fishy freckles around. Mm, okay, I don't know. Now about the cake, I went for a nice blue frosting. I was kind of going for a beach look. So the frosting is the water, the cake is the sand, and then I brought in a darker blue on the bottom of the frosting to kind of give it a blendy, watery look, painting those seashells in purple to match with her eyes. But actually, I knew I wanted to do purple seashells before purple eyes, so I actually made her eyes to match the seashells, just if you want to get technical. Finally, doing some last touch-ups around the edges, adding in the layers of frosting, the details on the shells, the sprinkles on the cake, and no, I'm not gonna do it. The sprinkle song can wait till later because I've got lots more sprinkles coming at you, and you know the rule about only one sprinkle song per video, so. Silence. Finally, add her inner ears. Here is the before, kinda cute, but basic. And now, Burial is here. She's cute and a little less basic, I think. <laughs> the additions made the design a lot more interesting and unique. I really, 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 really love it. This one is just so cute. Boop, 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 boop. It's just one of those you just wanna shake, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so cute. I love her. So I told you the third squishy I'm going to choose myself, which I thought was a good idea, but um, this is what happens when the choice is mine. Yeah, it was a hard choice, but then I remembered in my unboxing video, I said something about making a stack of donuts. I haven't done that. It's one of my dreams. So I went on a hunt and found every single donut squishy that I could. Is it sick to say I was kind of expecting it to be more... <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna select a couple of these if my camera would quit freaking out. Okay, uh, stop doing that. I'll take this one, this one, and this one. These were all the same exact shape, and I like them because they're nice and thick. This one's in rough condition for sure, chunks missing and whatnot. This one's got drawn on sprinkles and a crooked hole. And this one, oh wait, do they all have crooked holes? Oh well, that adds character. This one's got some very interesting smudge sprinkles. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this party started. I'm gonna frost my donuts with my favorite flavor, Fabric Fusion, yummy. And all right, time to stack them. Now to keep some pressure on there while the glue dries, I'm gonna throw a bunch of rubber bands around them, let that dry for an hour or so, and now it's safe to remove all the rubber bands. And I'm gonna go around all those seams and just seal them up really quick and easy, nice and simple. We got three donuts nice and firmly attached together. I'm gonna paint these a slightly different color than the original. I guess it's a little bit more reddish, toasted kind of color. I'm not a huge fan of all the visible seams that are on the squishies. I kind of wish I had tried to trim those up a little bit before painting, but I didn't really notice them until I had painted them, which at that point, clearly it's too late. So these or this? This or these? Is it a these or is it a this now? I don't know. What the heck is she talking about? These, this took several coats because the foam was very rough and holy. So I just gotta keep on painting over that until all the holes are completely filled. All right, we got a solid color going on, but that's kind of boring. So now I'm gonna add a lighter color in the center and give these some shading to make them a little bit more realistic and nice looking. This was a long time of going back and forth to create a somewhat convincing toasted look. Okay, this is what I've ended up with. I think it looks decent. I'm gonna paint on the frosting and I'm going for white for the very top donut, adding some little drips in that. Because I can't resist. And going with a nice pink for the middle donut, which I wish had a little bit more contrast with the donut color, but oh well. Finally, for the bottom, I chose chocolate. So this is kind of like a Neapolitan situation going on here. And those are all gonna need a second and coat, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, ah, nice little aesthetic close-ups. Yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, done. Now, of course, these donuts need a little decoration. For the center one, I decided to try to make it look like it had drizzle on it, <laughs> which was kind of tricky because I couldn't see both sides of the donut at once, so it just made it weird to figure out where the drizzle would go and where it would stop and continue.
continue, so it turned out a little bit wonky, but I think it's okay. For the top, I decided to add sprinkles, star sprinkles. Now is the time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, that's the wrong song. You silly. Sprinkle song, here you go. <laughs> I'm adding some regular old sprinkles to the bottom donut with all the same colors, and there we go. I've taken three completely separate and unrelated donut squishies, and now, boom, a magical tower of donuts. I don't know why I've been wanting to do this for so long and haven't. It was quite easy, but I enjoyed it and I'm really happy with how it looks. So now, it's official. I have my stack of donuts. I can check it off my bucket list, and here they are all together. Aw, they look so fun and cute. This is a profile shot, but mm, that looks strange. Anyway, this was a lot of work for one video. Jeez, I need an easy video next week, okay? I am really happy with how all of these came out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!